This is a live shot on a beautiful summer evening in Sylvan Lake, Alberta, Canada. If you look closely, you'll see a winning ball club and the winning pitcher sitting with yours truly. Hi, everyone. My name is Joe Whitbread. Welcome to Beyond the Bases, brought to you by The Market in Bentley. This is our post-game show where we dive into baseball and also beyond the bases. A little bit of a, a visit with our starting pitcher tonight on a winning evening at Gulls Field. And we don't get to say that often enough uh, against this team. Congratulations, Zach Bowman, on uh, winning this ball game against the Okotoks Dogs. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, well, you've had some luck against this team, but also some skill, obviously. We're gonna talk about that. Uh, I wanna roll the highlights in just a moment. Uh, but you got to pitch down in Okotoks. We won the two there. We have not been able to beat this club on this field, and this is the first time this season that the Gulls have had success on home field. What was the difference in your opinion? Uh, I think since we, we beat them twice, now we know we can get them, so we had some more confidence, and we came out and did our thing, we battled through the whole game, and came out on top. It was a real great game. Let's ha check out the highlights for the uh, fans at home and watching around the world. Uh, a, a great start by Hunter Jones. Uh, your pitching staff is really gelling at the right time. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we're coming out, throwing strikes, and competing well. The bats were quiet tonight, but that's because the dogs' pitching continues to be something of a rock in our shoe. Uh, these are two very good ball clubs. We see it there, we see it here. Uh, how about tonight? What did you see for control and for speed? Yeah, I know both teams were great tonight. Uh, their pitcher was great. He went deep into the ball game and competed really well. He kept us at bay for a while, but we made some big swings at big times. So. There are some big bats in your lineup. We continue to see it. We continue to feel it. Uh, but tonight, uh, the pitching did the work. Uh, congratulations. I think seven innings pitched. You get the win. Yep. Four strikeouts for you. The Ks went up on the big board. Uh, welcome back for the market in Bentley. Zach Bowen was the starting pitcher tonight. Zach, where are you from? Where's family watching in from? Uh, so I'm from Chewila, Washington. So I got all my family in Chewila watching me, my mom and dad. Yep. You grew up uh, always a pitcher, or did you ever uh, have, a, have a trip to the plate? Uh, yeah, I was. I actually started out as a two-way at Spokane Falls, and but then I switched to just a PO. So. Uh, but when did you find pitching? And as we look at uh, this, is your work tonight, by the way. Uh, how did it feel? Uh, you looked good. How did this feel? Good. Yeah, my off-speed wasn't working well at the beginning, but then I kind of got dialed in, and I was able to keep an off balance. You're a young pitcher still, uh, your friend Ty Boudreau in the uh, bullpen, you guys have really gelled. There was a lot of energy on that field, but as you're developing, are you uh, developing more in your portfolio? Do you have more pitches in, uh, in, your, in your backpack? Yep, uh, Coach Hape, he's helped me out a lot. He's helped me with my mechanics, and he's helped me kind of hone in my pitches and my lower half, and it's helped me out a lot. I know you got some friends here at the ballpark. What a thrill to bring family up from the USA to Canada for a Canadian summer. Who's here? and? Uh, and, and what's that been like? Yeah, my girlfriend Shelby's here. She came up to visit me for the week, so she got to watch me tonight, so that was pretty cool. Has you ever been to Canada for a summer ball? Uh, she did come up with my parents a couple weeks ago. Wonderful. It's, it's great to visit with you. Great to have kids from, uh, I call you kids, I know you're a young adult and you're doing great things, but it's so nice to visit with someone who played ball there and now you're here and you're really one of the, how about, how about these fans? Yeah, these fans are awesome. They come out every night, they're loud and they fill up the stands, so they do a great job. Well, we really appreciate you for joining us on Beyond the Bases. Congratulations on another win, and I uh, can't wait to see you for more games this week when Saskatoon comes to town. Yeah, thank you. There you go, Zach Bowman, your winning pitcher, your starting pitcher on a home field win, 2-1 against the Okotoks Dogs. Speaking of this week, it's Hawaiian night on Friday night. July 19th is one of our biggest promotions of the year, Hawaiian night. Uh, special jerseys in the stands. There's all kinds of uh, fun flowers and decorations, and there may be a, a tiki lamp or two uh, with real fire if we can make sure the, the fire marshal is invited to a suite perhaps. Hawaiian night just one of many great promotional evenings coming up this season. Uh, we do encourage you to grab your tickets early. The Saskatoon Berries are coming to town first of two uh, visits. They're very first in this ballpark Thursday night uh, which is our next home game, and again on Friday night. Uh, this is Beyond the Bases, brought to you by The Market in Bentley. My name is Joe Whitbread, and we are very pleased to welcome a Okotoks dog. You are seeing the right jersey. 
uh, and a Sylvan Lake Gull, but this is a really special story that a lot of fans don't necessarily know. This is father and son, two of the best teams in this league for uh, a number of years. It's wonderful to welcome in Owen Pote, one of the pitching uh, staff here with the Gulls, and dad. This is Lou Pote, who has spent some time in the majors. Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much for being a part of Beyond the Bases. Yeah, thank you for having us. Thanks really for having appreciate us. It. You're very welcome. Obviously, a win and a loss. Uh, what an incredible rivalry this must be at home and among family. Owen, we'll start with you. Uh, what's it like? Uh, I saw lots of visits uh, before the game. You get to see Dad a lot, but you're wearing different uh, uniforms this year. What's that like? Uh, it's not that much. it's not that different. Like I've played with him a bunch, so I thought I'd switch it up a year. Maybe get some wins without him for once. So. I've always just thought, like, I want to do my own thing. Like, I, I know he'll support me in either way, so it's just I thought I'd do my own thing. And playing against him is nice because it's fun beating him, but it sucks losing. So. And, Lou, there's a lot of support out there. I see the hugs. I see the high fives. I see the game face as well. But congratulations on what your son is doing this year, which we're about to talk about. You must be very proud. Oh, extremely proud. You know, this is uh, every kid's dream and uh, to get their name called, and he's fortunate enough to have it called. So, uh we lost, but it was a pretty uh, special day. Uh, Lou and his incredible club in Okotoks run such a, a, a great program. What he's alluding to is something perhaps you haven't seen yet, and as you watch this broadcast, you should know the gentleman to my left uh, was drafted to Major League Baseball and the Cincinnati Reds in the Major League Draft. Owen, congratulations. How does that feel? Feels pretty good. It's always been a lifelong dream of mine, and it's pretty. It feels pretty good to finally hear my name called. So. Did Did you have any conversations? Did you have any inkling of where you might go, or was it just a, a phone call? How did that happen? Um, leading, you know, day one of the draft, I didn't really hear anything, and I just kind of thought like maybe it wasn't going to happen, so I kind of just accepted that. And then day two, I woke up to a bunch of texts and calls, so I figured out that hey, there was actually a possibility. But when I found out, it was it was really one of really special moment and I, I'm just glad I could share that with my dad and my mom and my, all my family. So I'm a, I'm a dad too. Uh, I've, I've loved this game, lived this game, managed and played in this game, now broadcast this game. game. Lou, I can't even fathom what it must be like. You had a stint in the majors yourself. You have a World Series ring. Tell us a little bit about your career and then tell us what it must be like to hand that down. Uh, it's, you know, it's the same thing. Uh, you know, playing the major leagues is a dream of mine, and I was fortunate enough to to play there and win a World Series, and uh, to be able to you know see his uh, journey is uh, really cool and, and something that uh, you know I look forward to following and uh, seeing him grow and, and seeing him develop as a player. Incredible. Any uh, stories of Cincinnati in your major league career? Do you remember going there? I mean, I know it doesn't start immediately, and there's lots of work still to be done. But Cincy is uh, any stories from Cincy in your world? I don't even remember if I pitched against them because I was in the American League most of my right. career. So, uh, but you know, any organization uh, you get picked by or any player gets picked by is you know is, is special. So, uh, Cincinnati Reds fan now. Oh, I love that. Uh, this is dad and son, the Pote family, huge part of the WCBL. You watch them compete on the field, uh, but off field, there's a lot of relationships. I watch you, your teammates, really um, have a fraternity with any team that comes to this ballpark. Uh, you have a lot of relationships uh, in, in this uh, league and no doubt in collegiate ball as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've been fortunate enough to meet some pretty great people across baseball, and it's just, it's nice running into people in some pretty pretty fun places, especially in summer ball in Alberta. So it's always nice to run into some old friends and see them and talk to them and catch up with them. So Well, these jerseys uh, clash on television. They clash on the Internet, but uh, this is a family affair. It really is uh, for us in leadership and, and in broadcast and for the players on the field. Lou, sorry about the loss tonight. You've got to rebound. Uh, you've got some work to do. Obviously, the Gulls are thriving, headed into a, a pennant run. Uh, good luck to your crew. We always respect what your boys bring to this ballpark and to baseball. Uh, you've made us a better club after four years in this league. It's a great rivalry, and we look, really look forward to playing here and playing you guys at home. There you go. It's Lou Pote and Owen. Just before we let you go, congratulations on what was an incredible week for you. Major League Baseball, but your team is doing really good things at the right time. Uh, congrats on, uh, on what's happening in that Gulls bullpen. Thank you. I really appreciate that. There you go. It's Owen and Lou Pote, the family that plays together and plays against each other, too. Uh, Dad's dog, Red, isn't necessarily the favorite color of Owen headed into this week, but now he's a Cincinnati Red.
and red is his color. There's Jim Claggett upstairs in our broadcast booth on a beautiful night in Sylvan Lake. Bats were flying, not the bat flip kind, but the accidental kind. The Okotoks dogs had some incredible defensive plays. The bats were stymied by incredible pitching and Elijah Hamill, a former dog, hits a bomb against his former team. Some trouble in the outfield was the result and the Sylvan Lake Gulls do what they haven't done all year and that's beat the Okotoks dogs here at home. It's three in a row against the dogs and they're second in the win column after a busy week. We've got two more this week against the Saskatoon Berries and the Gulls are off to Lethbridge tomorrow. For all of us, have a great night. We'll see you at the next Gulls game.